This is Neil from Mac Training and today's everyday office video is about being able to customize org chart shapes in Microsoft Visio. So I'm starting here in Visio and I'm going to go ahead and choose to create a new org chart by clicking this button here and clicking create. And I'm not going to bother with this little request of whether I want to uh, pull the data from some sort of database or something like that. I'll just go ahead and click cancel. Now, in this new modern versions of uh, Visio, you have the ability to grab these shapes and place them in the, you know, the executive shape, the manager shape, things like that. And then these shapes aren't really that customizable. Except for the fact that Microsoft gives us the ability to have this little shapes drop down menu where I can choose, you know, let's say this notch shape. And what it does is it goes to all the shapes that are on the page and it changes them to this look. And if I change it over here to pip, you can see that it changes all the shapes to reflect that shape style that they gave us. But the problem that a lot of people have is, you know, item number one, your org chart doesn't have um, people's faces. You know, every one of these shapes starts off with a face. Item number two, none of these really does what you want it to. You know, this coin shape, for example, everything's round, things are rounded corners, and maybe none of these really works for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these a little bit more easily customizable and then look at how we can actually make these changes. So first, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose the shape called Shapetacular. And the reason I'm choosing Shapetacular is because except for the little picture icon in the corner of these shapes, ultimately they're all just rectangles. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do a quick select all and I can just show hide to turn off the faces for all those people. And so you can see here that now by going shapetacular with no pictures, you actually have a really stripped down, super easy, super simple version of an org chart, which is what a lot of people want to start off from. But still you might want to do things like uh, change their color or put a little background behind them, something along those lines. And so there's a really easy way to customize this and that is by creating a new custom stencil. I can go over here to more shapes on the left hand side, click on new stencil in US units. And then what I do is I click on, let's say this executive shape here. And I decide up here on the home tab, maybe to fill this in with something, maybe executives are always orange and maybe they have a dark orange border around the outside edge and maybe the text on them is white and it's bold and it's a little bigger. Now, once you've decided what an executive looks like, what you do is you click on that and drag it over here to your stencil and let go. And you can see here that it's now just called Master 2. What I'll do is I'll just right click and choose to rename that master as Executive. And then basically repeat this process, right? So this Manager, I can go ahead and say that Managers are a slightly lighter shade of orange with a dark orange outline, uh, but they use black as their text color and maybe they're also bolded and they're also 10 point. So then I drag that in and again, right click, choose to rename the master manager. And then I'll just go ahead and save the stencil. I think you can pick up from here that you would just continue this process, modifying the shapes and then dragging them into the stencil. So you click the save icon, you call this something like uh, orange org chart shapes and save it. So now it's actually very easy to make this work. Uh, you start by going to file, go down to new, make yourself a new org chart and I'll just make a new blank org chart here. Click create, 
click uh, cancel if it asks me to use the wizard. Okay, so now remember I was using that shapetacular look. I'm going to click on shapetacular there. And I don't want to use the shapetacular ones that are here. Instead, I want to go to more shapes. I want to go to my shapes and open up the orange org chart shapes stencil. I can then simply click and drag the executive in here, for example, and then drag a manager and drop it on top, drag another manager on top of that executive, drag another manager on top of that executive, and you can see how I could build out the org chart using these customized shapes. Another way to customize shapes in an org chart and still have it work for you is to go to the More Shapes pop-out menu on the left and actually look at the document stencil for this particular org chart. By doing that, you can see here that the shapes that we've been using, the executive shape and the manager shape, are listed right here. Now watch this. I'm going to go to this executive shape, double click on it, and when I double click the executive shape, I'm actually looking at the template for this shape. So now I could go to something like the Home tab, for example, click on my little shape tool here and say, maybe I want a rectangle, right? So now I'll drag to draw that rectangle right there. And then I'll use my pointer tool to click on that rectangle. And in clicking on this rectangle, I can change its fill color. I can change its line color. And I can do things like maybe put it in back. So right here, send to back. Now what I've done here is customize what an executive looks like by going directly to the shape itself and adding new components, maybe putting a little banner behind it like this one. Then I can click to close this, and when I do, it asks, okay, we've got this shape called executive. Would you like me to go in and find all the executives and modify them so they have this little banner behind them? I'll click yes, and you see right there? The little banner gets put in there, the little banner gets put in here, and so we've been able to customize how those shapes look and feel. The first way was by clicking and dragging a customized shape into a new stencil, and the second way was to go to the document stencil itself and pull up those shapes and decide to modify their aesthetic.